This is the incredible pork loin. Serving it this Sunday. Braised in milk. That'll happen very soon. Executive Chef Filippo Bacini getting it ready. Are we live, Taylor? Yes. Hi, everybody. Happy gorgeous Friday afternoon here at Solari. We're doing a quick Instagram live to let you know what we're doing this Sunday. If you remember last Sunday, we did an incredible spring lamb shank. So we decided each Sunday, we're gonna do a special dinner. And this Sunday, it's gonna be a roast pork loin braised in milk. Very traditional Italian dish. Filippo will argue with me, some say it's from Emilia Romagna, some say it's from Tuscany. All that matters is our Tuscan chef Filippo is gonna make the best pork loin and milk you've ever had. It's an incredible dish for two people. Let's go see what Filippo's doing. You can pick it up this Sunday. Let's go follow, see what Filippo's doing. Hi, ciao. He's definitely from Tuscany. It's called Arista Latte. I crush some pepper, I like the mortar. Because it so, meets crab. So it's Arista, Arista al Latte. Arista Latte. And Arista is the type of cut? Yeah, it's this cut. But you can see we get the entire loin of the pig. This is the pork loin. We All the bones are there. That's the rib cage, of course. And then this is what we're going to be braising and roasting in milk for many, many, many hours. We have a really great YouTube video showing you it cooking. So if you go to the Solari channel, you'll see the YouTube video that's there. And we would love it if you tried it. It's going to be available this Sunday. We're taking orders now. 619-270-9670. We're taking orders for pickup on Sunday. We only have enough, so it comes as a roast for two people. We only have enough for 24 orders. So 24 people will be able to get it. If this is something that you're interested in, please let us know right away. You can call us today and put in your order. But to get, a, um, to get this roast pork loin for two, it's $38. So that would be a total of $19 a person. It comes with roasted veggies. Filippo, what else should we know about this amazing yeah. roast you're doing? I'm going ahead now and I'm tied it up. So and it keeps in shape while it's cooking. And then we're gonna put in that big pan, both of them, and we're gonna roast it slowly with milk. And the milk give us the almost butter uh, taste, but we don't use any butter. We're from Tuscany. I'm from Tuscany. I use only olive oil. That's kind of an exception. Tied it up. We keep in shape during the cooking. And the only thing we're doing this kind of cage to keep in shape, and it's gonna help me to fix all the aromatic herb. Because we're gonna put rosemary, garlic in the olive oil, sage, and thyme. A different thyme, because the rosemary goes inside as it is now. Thyme and sage are more delicate, so we add it later. Okay, need more room. That is awesome. Just love to watch Chef Filippo doing the presentation. He does such a great job. Um, you're going to absolutely love this um, roast pork loin. Again, if you have a moment, you're seeing what it looks like before it all starts. If you do go to the Solari YouTube, which would be Solari San Diego, you'll see exactly um, what it looks like after it's been um, braised and boiling and roasting and milk. And that again is Solari San Diego on YouTube. He's almost done wrapping this up. Yeah, it's really easy to wrap because we have the bones that guide us. But if you're interested in getting an order for two this Sunday, I'd recommend calling sooner than later. 
Um, for our lamb shank yesterday, or last week, um, which was delicious, it really sold out super fast. So let us know if you're interested. Just give us a call. I put our phone number up there. I see my friend, the barley man from Escondido. Thanks so much for joining. Vintage Industry, thanks so much for joining. Hey, Polly, thanks for coming on board. Vicolo, thank you. And Karen, welcome. You were the first to join. I didn't even see that when we were getting everything started. And because this is how you know that you're working with a chef from Tuscany, we're talking rosemary gets used in everything. So I once, uh, Filippo and I got together for breakfast one day. He pours his bowl of traditional Tuscan Cheerios, and sure enough, there's rosemary on top. Obviously, I'm kidding. But a lot of rosemary, it just smells amazing in here. And the rosemary just gets, um, doesn't have a big influence on the flavor, just kind of very subtle. And as I think you guys know, and one thing that Chef Filippo taught me is, everything about Tuscan cooking is all about being subtle. And so even though you're seeing a lot of rosemary here, you know, by the time it is braised and cooks in the milk for, you know, the you know, how long is it going to be braised in the milk? Uh, I braise a that big piece is going to be one hour twenty. It depends on the on the weight of the meat, and I, I will of course make my try, which is a a long toothpick. Uh, I stick on the meat. It comes out with no blood and very dry. The meat is ready. It's going to be tender inside and nice and golden all around. So the nice. meat is ready. Perfect. Add some garlic, as always. And if anybody listening to this, oh, sorry, I watch him do the garlic. If anybody would like to do something like this at home in the future, we can help you get a loin like this at a very reasonable price from a really great supplier. And then we can tell you how to do this. So we'd be more than honored to help you, especially once everything opens back up again. You want to get your whole family together, have a celebration. And you go, you know what? I just want to do one of these big pork loins like Filippo did at Solari. Um, and you can absolutely do that with us. We'd be happy to make that happen. Whoa. I wish you guys could all be here. It smells amazing. Absolutely amazing. Hey, Dennis, thanks for joining. Mind the bite, thanks for joining. Okay, everybody, I'm going to sign off in a second. I'm just going to leave with a small... Wow, I don't know why I'm signing off. Um... I'm going to leave with a small commercial. If you would like to have one of these babies, just uh, give us a call. You saw the number there, 619-270-9670. Place an order. It's $38 for two people, $19 a person. It includes the um, grilled vegetables as well. You can pair it with a nice pasta. We have great wine available, craft cocktail from Tommy and the team. Oh, my gosh. I was planning on this being really short, but... I feel like I would be crazy to stop broadcasting. Yeah, this is um, this is a delightful, delightful experience. And I wish you guys could smell what's happening here. Now we keep temperature low. A little bit of olive oil. Wow! Incredible. I'm just going to leave it on here for a moment. I hope you guys don't mind. I, oh, there we go. Stop leave. This is fun. Start taking the call.
Dann bitte Klausel gar nicht. This olive oil takes already the grease. You can see change consistency. If you keep it clear, you can use all the way through. And this is going to be our base when we pour the milk. This is going to make a sauce with the milk, soft and tender, like almost uh, mascarpone cheese. Yeah. Now someone asked if this is chicken stock. That's not. This is just olive oil with the pork, right? Yep. No stock involved. No in stock fresh. involved at all. We have all the grease that comes from the pork, so it's even healthy because this is one of the most uh, skinny part of the pork. The grease is on the outside, as you can see. Look. Uh, this meat doesn't have any grease inside. Nice. It's all We take out all the fat and we make the sauce out of it. And at what point will you put in the milk? The milk is going to be in uh, 15 minutes when you finish to make all golden and nice. And a little bit of a crust. Let's uh, melt the grease and basically seal the meat so it's, it's not losing anymore but it's taking eventually from the goodness in the pan. I am just very happy to staying right here. Wow. Many times this preparation is done without the bone. I like with the bone because it keeps the, the, the meat attached to the bone is always the best. We don't want to lose it, and we don't want to lose the marrow that is going to melt and grows in the... In exactly. The yeah, the marrow is the key from all those bones you saw. The garlic is burning, and I take it out. We don't want to burn garlic. We just want the garlic flavor. And you see the, the pepper that I cracked in the bottom of the pan. It's toasted now, and it's making very good smell. You can tell, almost not. Okay, sadly, I have to get back to work. This is incredible. I hope everybody watching it is, lives in San Diego, so you guys can try this. Wow. It degrades in this way all, all the beef from the pan. It's going to melt. This is part is done. Beautiful. Okay, everybody. Chef Filippo, thank oh. you, man. You're incredible. Absolutely incredible.